lights are out and you stumble in the dark You kept pushing on but then you went too far So where are we going? We're going Whoa. to the grocery <laughs> store What are we gonna get? <clears throat> I don't know, you have the list. So every Monday night we started like having family dinners because Kyle's off work and Jay's always around. So we've been cooking once a week on Mondays and then usually we do on Thursdays again too, but what are we gonna cook? Would you say like pot roast or? M wants pot roast. Last week we did barbecue and Justin grilled. But this week it looks like pot roast. It's your turn to cook. So it's gonna be a flop. Zooming in on your head. So we're at the grocery store and uh, can't see. I like to sometimes bring a cart in with me because I feel like you know I'm doing my part to help out, but also I need a cart. But the only one that is available is a little tot size. Do you think we can fit all our stuff in there? That butt though. <laughs> Walked in and we're already looking at something that's not on the list. What'd you say you wanted? Well, I just saw these strawberries and I thought he could make strawberry shortcake. It looks good. Yep. Kids like it, right? When you ship a sail and all your dreams are lost, everything is wrong. You feel like it's your fault. Just remember, I will be there for you, baby. Remember. So we made it through Schnucks. We actually used a full size cart because we had too much stuff. Well, and you have a bad back for that little short cart. Yeah. So now we're going to load, or you're going to load. I'm going to, as he says, I pull my V cart and hop in. <laughs> So I was gonna sanitize my hands for the okay, Corona. Go ahead. Go ahead. But Do somebody it. was waiting for a spot, so we had to move, and there was like legitimately five spots around us, but I guess we had a good spot that they wanted. So we are gonna go ahead and get out of their way and let them have a, a great have a special spot. A great experience at the, the local grocery store. So we just got back from making a quick run to our local grocery store. We didn't get a lot of like different like cooking stuff. Just got a couple main ingredients for a few meals. For those of you who watched us before, um, towards the end we were trying to go vegan and not eat meat and dairy and stuff like that. We did that for about, I would say, would you say like a year? Yeah, probably just over a year. Yeah, a little over a year. Something happened in October and I got real sick and ended up in the hospital and since then we started eating red meat again and back to a more I guess I wouldn't say we're on a healthy diet but we eat more of like just regular food again. It is not an understatement that she almost died like <laughs> legit. I had been like I would say in the summer I got like a cough and I got sick and I felt like I just couldn't get better. I was like real weak and real tired. Then it seemed like I got a little bit better, but then I got worse again. And Jay and they were like, you got, you really should go to the doctor. I was like, no, I'm not gonna go to the doctor. I hate doctors. So then I got sick again and I just didn't feel right. I felt real weak and tired all the time. And what was it like, September or August? I was in bed for like, gosh, over a month. And when I would get up, I was like, could barely make it to the toilet or walk to the kitchen without like my legs were swelling, I couldn't breathe. I was having like a hard time breathing. And I was trying to like cover a lot of it up because everybody was like trying to bug me to go to get checked out and I didn't want to go. And I was like not functioning. I wasn't getting up in the morning. 
I couldn't sleep at night. It was just, it was bad. I was thinking, you know, I was looking on Google and I was thinking I was either in heart failure or I had like congestive heart failure or I thought I had um, diabetes or I was looking all kinds of stuff up. I was just scared. So it was like every night and I had like ringing in my ears like constant and I was like trying eardrops. I was trying to do my own thing to get better. I would just pray like, okay, either take me now or, you know, have something happen where I don't have to get a surgery because I'm scared to death to get surgery. And I would have to take a shower. I would like put ice cubes in my mouth to try to get through the shower because I could barely stand up. I was drinking like, would you say like 12 bottles of water a day? A bunch. And Justin was like bringing me food in bed, but I couldn't, towards the end, like I couldn't even eat. I think my body was just like shutting down. I didn't sleep at night, so I was like, sleeping more during the day, but not as much. One night, Jay said, he was living in St. Louis at the time, and he said, I'm coming to get you tonight, and you're going to the hospital. And I said, no, I don't wanna to go tonight, because it was the night that Justin's mom had passed away, and I didn't wanna die on the same day his mom died. And Jay was like, no mom, it doesn't matter, you gotta go. And so I was like, okay, but I had to take a shower, and it was like eight o'clock. So I got cleaned up, it took me a while, and I went to the ER, and when I got there, they put me in a wheelchair, and I was like, I don't need a wheelchair, what do, <laughs> where am I going in a wheelchair? And basically, they had to hurry up and do a blood transfusion and give me six bags of blood <laughs> because my hemoglobin was a 2.1. So I don't didn't know like what that meant. But basically I was like out of blood, I guess. Then I got lucky though because I got to go home like the next day. They put her in like critical care right away and got her blood level up to, they it had to retest eight. it the next day. Like, yeah. And it went up to an eight. And they said, uh, Jay, he's, you know, working at the hospital and he has like um, friends that are like nurses. And his one friend had said, if I would have waited like six to 12 more hours, I either would have been dead or had a stroke so thank god neither one of those happened but basically they said that because i have really heavy periods and that my um i quit our diet we had quit with like all the red meat and any kind of iron and so anemia. yeah so it was like anemic and all that so yeah it was a, a great time um <laughs> to go through. Moral to the story is if something's wrong, you can't be afraid to go to the doctor to the point to where you put yourself in that bad of a situation because that's what it came down to. She just it's, doesn't I like have, doctors. Yeah, it's like my fear is so bad of hospitals and doctors that I was just like refusing to go and it just got to a point where like I would tell him, just shut up, leave me alone. It's so I'm gonna get better, it's gonna be fine. Jay just, the one night he just wouldn't stop. He was like harassing me to the point where he just would not quit. He didn't give up and I guess that I needed to go or. <laughs> but she is under the care of a doctor. She's um, kind of rebuilt all her blood back up and the last test that she took, she was. A 15. Just over yeah. 15, so. They actually told me I could quit taking my iron pill, but. I'm kind of scared to, but I don't know, we'll see. So we're gonna get back to the food hall. But now hall. we have other, another issues that I'm worried about, so I'm like, I don't know if I wanna go to the doctor now again. She's gonna go. We picked up two extra bags of dumplings because we can never get these. And we have some, but we need more for when we make chicken and dumplings. We got hamburgers. Justin's gonna grill for us tonight and make tater tots, so healthy. <laughs> and we got two things of roast for Monday night when we have family over. Yellow potatoes. We get the yellow potatoes. And we got chocolate milk for Joey. And Joey likes whole milk. We drink this milk. And we got two Lean Cuisines. And some more eggs. I got this to try. I've never tried it. So... We'll see if it's any good. I'm, I'm trying to make coffee at home that tastes good, but I haven't succeeded. Strawberries with shortcake. Why are you filming me like that? So I can have you on the, the frame and the food. <laughs> you're not in it. Because you're talking. And then this goes on top of the strawberry shortcake or the kids eat it. That's dairy. Off. That counts as dairy. 
Really? We've got fruits, we've got vegetables. Yeah. Who said we don't eat vegetables and fruit? Look at how healthy we are. And then this is my favorite yogurt, Activia, just the plain vanilla. Joey actually got me hooked on this. And then this is Justin's candy. But I wouldn't eat this. He's got three cavities. I only have one cavity. We gotta eat this. Somebody else helps me with that. And then bread, Diet Coke. And then I get some caffeine free because at a certain time, I don't, sometimes I don't like to do the caffeine as much, but it's all bad for you probably. So we're getting ready to head out to go get a soda. When Chick-fil-A's closed, we go to McAllister's to get a soda, but they don't have a drive through so we can't be lazy and just sit in the car. Well, at least one of us can't. <laughs> <laughs> Me, no. I just wanted to clarify when I said we went vegan, we didn't eat like healthy, like we should have. We tried to do some like salads and stuff, but we ate like bad vegan food. Like mostly just like carbs and stuff that wasn't like healthy. Frozen, we didn't do like a lot of the stuff that the diehard vegans, you know, ways that they'll get their protein. We didn't do a lot of those things. Yeah. So that didn't help the... Uh... So I might've been okay with eating vegan if I would've ate better. Or ate right, you know. Right, but it's the first time that I've ever seen somebody go to the doctor and them tell their patient to go ahead and get a steak to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so her doctor is like, "Yeah, go eat some red meat. Get some, <laughs> get some of that iron." Well, we thought we were leaving anyway. <laughs> Somebody's over there. That's okay guys, you can leave me out here. It's uh, about 70 degrees, uh, sunny, and I'm just checking everything out. Oh! here I was not obviously planning on filming this I had actually forgot we talked about filming it earlier but we are just gonna kind of share some more thoughts on what they've been kind of talking about today I'm gonna share some of my thoughts but she's gonna share a few so when the doctor saw me at the hospital um, he said I can't believe you look as good as you do for how bad you are and I guess because I had been still putting makeup on and fixing my hair and stuff like that. So I believe, you know, it was truly a miracle that I was able to still walk and take a shower and because I wasn't able to like eat and drink and... With ice cubes in your mouth, did you yeah, tell I, that? Yeah, I was taking a shower with ice in my mouth. <sighs> but, you know, it was no other explanation except for it was a miracle and I don't think I'd be alive if God wouldn't have saved me and I guess I'm still here for a reason. <laughs> so you guys saw the picture of like how bad um, things got and how bad she was looking and it was a progressive thing and towards the end it got like really bad really fast because you know I guess things were just kind of like shutting down and not working the way it should should work and Stephanie again is very stubborn and she was trying to hide a lot of this because of her fear of going to the doctor or a hospital and so a lot of her symptoms she didn't really even talk about. She was keeping her, you know, legs elevated. And, you know, we didn't know really what all was going on to the extent it was going on. You know, we didn't know if she was just like, you know, super tired or was fighting some kind of virus or, you know, she was maybe getting depressed. You know, we had a lot of changes in our life. We didn't know what was going on. And we had told her multiple times, hey, you need to get checked out and stuff like that. And she just wouldn't listen well i was able to tell you two to shut up pretty much i felt like and then jay he just he's just like he does not stop jay doesn't quit you know and you guys kind of both i felt like well and also i think up. jay <laughs> with being at the hospital yeah, yeah he was like really knew something was really really wrong whereas i felt like i kept just saying to him like do you think she's just depressed because for me i just like felt like I started seeing her less, but it was because she was 
one, too tired to get out of bed and weak, and two, she was trying to be slim shady and hide from us all <laughs> and put on makeup and it always was weird to me because when she would come over, she used to like, if Emmett would run up to her or whatever, she'd pick him up, she'd be like, oh, oh, like, <laughs> hi Emmett. I'm like, okay, He was getting pretty weird. big. <laughs> but she didn't seem to like be around the kids as much, pick up the kids as much, like, it was a struggle for her to like, yeah, and even like really do one a time, lot. And I, I think was, like, I something. can't remember what was going on, but you guys like wanted me to stay there with the kids by myself, and I was like, I don't think I can do that because <laughs> I, I just, didn't feel strong enough. You know, it kept getting more and more weird. So then I remember one the night you went, I kept texting Jay, and I'm like, something is wrong with mom, whatever. And so he said, I'm not going to stop until she goes tonight, <laughs> like tonight, because we kept wondering, like my dad said, if it's just like she's depressed or what, because I'm like. Seems like she can't get out of bed. She can barely, and I know like sometimes physical symptoms. Obviously not <laughs> how that face looked, but <laughs> like you know, if you're depressed some of the week and she's like, oh, you know, I don't want to do this. But like you didn't but, even see me look that bad. No, because I took those pictures. But how did you? And like, the reason I why I, I took look like bad. pictures on my phone because I was like, boy, I look so messed up. But like if I die, then the kids would like at least see like how bad I looked. Like, like she looked like she went up against Mike Tyson back how in his did you not, But how did you not see that? Like you sleep well, next to, in bed next to that. Like, I was like, oh, I probably have allergies and stuff. And she was. I was like telling him just stop because he was like, oh, you look horrible. She's like, I have allergies. <laughs> and I was also like at that time I was doing a lot of the stuff that we normally did together. Like, you know, I was doing all the cooking and doing cleaning. I was doing her laundry, my laundry. I would towards the end run over to watch the kids. By myself, which yeah, that, that was wasn't weird. usual. That was so, so then weird. he was struggling to keep up. I feel like, and a lot of our house stuff was falling apart. Like the fridge wasn't getting cleaned out, the pantry, because he was trying to just like, you know, wait on me and cook. And then I think like what probably threw up more of a red flag to him when I stopped like eating. <laughs> He's like, okay. I was like, all right, something's definitely wrong. <laughs> No, but her and, and Jay were actually talking and one of you guys said something to me. It was like, is something going on between you and mom? Because like <laughs> they thought maybe we were... What? I thought that was me because I was like, okay, I told Kyle, this is really weird. I'm like, are they not getting along or like what's going on? Cause <laughs> are they getting a divorce? Like, yeah, like... it seemed like my mom was always just at home and my dad was coming like separately. But then my mom would really never come around the kids and then my dad was always like going to run and do errands by himself. I'm like, my mom usually always went with him. <laughs> it was super weird. So thanks guys for watching our channel and our bum content on our channel. <laughs> if you liked or didn't like what you saw, but you wanted to, you want to see it again, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. And we take thumbs up, we take thumbs down, whatever, whatever we can get, we take. <laughs> And thanks again to everybody for subscribing that already have subscribed. Um, we are past 500 and on our way to the sky to a thousand and beyond. So I did miss my bet that I made because I said by midnight, I hoped that we would get to 500 and they both said happen. no way. And we were at 499 <laughs> on live when it struck midnight and then we hit over 500 on Instagram Live. On Instagram Live, yeah. And then it went to over 500 <laughs> at 1201. <laughs>